name's Sarah Chappelle. I'm the project architect for the building you see behind me, the Bank of America Tower at One Bryant Park, which is the first lead platinum skyscraper in New York City and in the United States of America. The height of the space is quite tall. It's about a 30, 38 foot tall volume of space, fairly large on the corner. What we were concerned about here was not heating and cooling the entire volume of the space. Uh, so the cooling is coming, neath, coming from underneath the floor. We have perimeter grills all along the outside wall here where the cold air is coming up. And the, also the floor underneath our feet here has a radiant heating and cooling system in it. So there's a pipe, a small uh, flexible pipe that's serpentining around the floor underneath our feet with a cold water in it during the summer, hot water in it during the winter time, uh, which heats and cools the floor. So we're only really tempering the bottom five to six to eight feet of the space where people are occupying it. That leaves no ductwork up in the ceiling except for a little bit of return air, uh, which makes this a, a fairly efficient lobby space. And there are two things on this uh, exterior wall that, are in, that we won't usually talk about. The glass itself is very transparent. It's a very, very clear quality of glass. It is a very high-performing glass. It's the best level of performance that we get in a clear glass, but it didn't quite meet up with the uh, specifications that we needed for the building. So at the bottom of the glass and up at the top of the glass, we've added these, uh, these dots, which are ceramic frit, which is glazed right onto the glass. But this basically reflects sunlight out of the building before it even comes in. This is our outside air intake. There's basically a large well up here where the outside air is coming in into these louvers here and uh, send that outside air that down onto the typical floors, mix it with the room air down there, and uh, that's how we get a higher quality, better, better filtered air onto every, every floor of this building. So this is our, our, one of our four tanks within the tower of the building. There's basically one every ten floors where we're collecting uh, rainwater from the roof surface and then put gravity feeding it down to the next tank uh, about ten floors down so we can reduce our energy of pumping uh, of the water around the building. Then there's a giant tank at the bottom of the building that we're, th these are about 8,500 gallons each. The one at the bottom of the building is about 40,000 gallon tank down there to hold all the remaining water that we get and collect and then reuse in the building.